So here's the question. Are you a soccer fan now after this week? You think we got more soccer fans in the U.S.? Well, we had a lot of soccer fans until about 10.55 <laughs> this morning. <laughs> and after they watched the first half, like, maybe they just went <laughs> click. <laughs> Hope not, at least for ABC on the weekend. The United States has supposedly made great strides in World Cup soccer. But today it looked like a return to square one. Team USA drilled by the Czech Republic. The Czechs scored five minutes into the game and routed the United States 3-0. The loss made most at a local soccer watering hole cry in their beer. Here's Adam Norris. In a sparsely populated mid-city block, passion and patriotism packed Finn McCool's. The pub has become the unofficial home for the New Orleans soccer community. So during the World Cup, Soccer Central is buzzing. I actually arrived in New Orleans during the, the World Cup in 1990 and it was shown on TV at the time but there was actually commercial breaks during the game so it's come a long way in that and absolutely nobody was interested in soccer back then. There's no question it's catching on and the 2006 World Cup is getting unprecedented American media coverage. Luckily, you know, the World Cup now been getting so much attention we got a friend in there that, you know, never watched soccer before but he's into this World Cup. Despite those new fans, soccer still stands on the fringes of the U.S. sports landscape. I think football is really what's on everybody's mind and not the, um, not the British football. But Americans love a winner, so for soccer to ever gain true traction in this country, our national team will likely have to score a major success on an international stage. I think we need a world caliber. We need to be the dominant, the dominant team out there, and, or else it's just not going to happen. If fans showed up to watch a winner, they were monumentally disappointed. That is, except for the two guys rooting for the Czech Republic. The 3-0 loss had many turning their attention from what was on the screen to what was in their glass, and ultimately, what awaited them in the outside world. A world where soccer is king, almost everywhere. In Mid-City, Adam Norris, ABC 26 Sports.